Barter and exchange, forerunner of modern systems of coinage, was a simple, even enviable method of transacting business. But scales that swing in favor of one man must necessarily cheat the other. Primitive means of measuring time, weight, and distance were a part of the primitive life a few hundred years ago. The senses of justice, of fairness, of honesty, of need for accuracy were dulled by man's lack of proper measuring tools. As life's pace through the centuries grew more rapid and its complexities increased, man of necessity grew more cautious, became interested in more accurate means of measuring time, weight, and distance. He began to give more attention to the problem of measurement as it concerned his personal life and the value of his property, and then considered it in relation to his neighbor's welfare. And as horizons expanded and man explored new lands, his methods of measuring distance necessarily became finer. As he became more observant, time assumed more value in his personal and public life, and so his sense of time became sharper. Weights, as diversified as the people who originated them, and most commonly subject to inaccuracy and fraud, also came under man's surveillance. They gradually approached a standard. More delicate, more sensitive instruments were developed to aid him in determining the extent of his possessions and purchases and in plotting his course. During these centuries, measurement of time dwindled from days to hours, to minutes, to seconds. Finally, seconds were divided into hundreds, thousands of parts. Fine measurement did not stop at the weight of a sea, but went on to the weight of a grain of sand, the weight of an eyelash. Haphazard measurement of length gave place to the standard yard, the standard inch, and the single inch was divided into 10,000 parts. 